My name is Karash. I'm a design engineer for Stryker Medical in Portage, Michigan. Um, we do uh, ambulance cots, beds, stretchers, anything that a patient will go on um, and be transferred from you know when they're hurt all the way to the hospital until they're treated and have to be in a bed for a little while. Anything they're laying on is what we do. I think about five, six years ago, our cots were rated for 500 pounds, um, and now they're actually increased to about 700 pounds. And uh, one of our latest products that's actually doing very well is a hydraulic lifted cot. You know, patients are now becoming bigger and bigger. Um, it's sad to say, but I think the average patient now is about 500 pounds being transferred in ambulances. So with all these physical constraints are uh, weight. So, you know, EMTs are going to be lugging this around from their ambulance to the patient's house. Not only their house, but they could be in a field. So anything that has to roll well, um, it's got to be small enough to be able to go through apartment buildings. And in addition to that, it's got to be able to hold the largest of patients as well. We use Creo Parametric uh, because of the ease of their ability to start from the early design phase where we don't know what the shape is going to be, but we have a rough idea on like the overall size. And having that parametric ability to go back and being able to control different heights, different widths, and have the model you know, regenerate by changing a, a little thing that marketing says they want to have a different diameter or different radius here or here, I can go back all the way to the beginning to my skeleton, change it, and it propagates through the whole thing. It'll propagate through five different uh, plastic um, parts that are actually included in the master model. Thank you.